metric conversions. So what do we know here? Our base unit being the grams, the milligrams being a thousand times smaller than the gram. And that's not accidental, the position, because look at that. From the gram, divide by 10, divide by 100, divide by 1,000. So a thousand times smaller. One gram, 1,000 milligrams. We need 1,000 of the small milligrams to make up the one gram. And then looking again, comparing the grams with the micrograms, well, one full gram will be how many micrograms? It's the gram divided into 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million times. So one gram, 1 million micrograms. And then if we wanted to see the relationship between milligrams and micrograms, well, one milligram, again, divided in 10, 100,000 parts, will be 1,000 micrograms. So one milligram, 1,000 micrograms. We, we can just keep those relationships in mind, but we can always use this chart to remember and, and make the conversions. Um, probably always easier to change the grams into milligrams than to change the milligrams into, into grams. So probably always easier going from the bigger unit to the smaller unit. So if we have grams and milligrams, I would change the grams into the milligrams. If I had milligrams and micrograms, both into micrograms or the milligram into microgram. How would we remember this chart? There are lots of strategies and one of them could be, you could say gram is just one letter, milligram, two letters, microgram, lots of letters. I'm sure you don't need to use that sort of strategy, but if you need it to for memorization, that would be probably a good one. And then you always need to remember the two dots in the middle because the difference is always a thousand. From gram to milligram, a thousand times smaller. From milligram to mi microgram, another thousand times smaller. And so that means from gram to microgram, one million times smaller. So let's try to do some conversions and see how we go here. Uh, a first one would be maybe five grams. How many milligrams? Well, you can always go back to the original relationship, which is one gram is a thousand milligrams. So five grams has to be 5,000 milligrams. That is a, the idea. If you really want to do some more workings, which I don't think is necessary, but if you did want, you would say, okay, from five grams to milligrams, what I'm going to do is from gram to milligram, I have to go one, two, three decimal places or thinking 10, 100,000 times bigger or smaller, but I have to make that number look like that. So we go from the point, in a whole number, the point is always sitting after the five there. Just think about money, five. If you decided to call it five dollars, it would be five dollars and zero cents. So the point is always after the last of your digits in the whole part of your number. So what would we do here? One, two, three. So that's where our point is going to end. Now, fill the gaps with zeros. Same 5,000 milligrams. And do write your final answer clearly at the end. So let's try a few others. Um, how about 200 milliliters? Two liters. Well, we're not working with liters here. But that's just to show that the same chart will be good for any other unit. So the base unit, if we decided now to work with liters, so instead of grams, liters, milliliters, 
and microliters. We never use micro, well, we don't often use microliters, but using milliliters and liters, we just approach the table in the same way. So what happens here? Well, we start with the milliliters and we, this time we need to go backwards. One, two, three, or divide by 10, 100, 1000, because liters are a thousand times bigger than the milliliters. So how would we do this here? Well, I'll write the 200 again, place the decimal point, and let's do exactly what we did above there. One, two, three. So the, the, these uh, digits can only one digit can sit in these little spaces we are making. So what do we have here? Point two hundred. So we always need to write that zero here because we want to make sure there are no mistakes. The whole part of the number is zero. And then looking at this, these two other zeros there, these two can be dropped. They are not necessary. Imagine tilting the number to the right, those two zeros would roll off. Final answer, 0 0.2 liters. Let's try another one. How about now 3.5 grams into micrograms? Well, that's a long way because a gram is 10, hundred. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million times bigger than the gram. So what we're going to do is, this time the point is already visible there. We just have to go, how many times was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the right. So our decimal point now is right at the end. Each space takes one zero not on the top there, but inside that little hammock. So how do we write this? This is not good for a final answer. We have to rewrite it. 300, sorry, 3 million and 500,000. So let's do the thinking here. 3.5 grams. If one gram is a million micrograms, Three grams would be three million micrograms. So then we have to just think 3.5 grams will be three million and a half. So 3,000, three million and 500,000 micrograms. Probably nice to write with a little gap. Three million, 500,000 micrograms. So the big advice here is to always try and change, if possible, to change the larger unit into the smaller unit. So let's see another one, 0 0.035 milligrams into micrograms. So from milligram, standing here, going into micrograms. What is that? Well, one milligram is 10, 100, 1,000 times bigger than the microgram. If we're counting the steps, one, two, three, it's always three because the, the relationship between them is always a 1,000 times smaller or bigger. So what do we do here? Well, 0 0.035, we want this, and as I did here, I was going that way, one, two, three, moving that point. So final answer is zero, zero, 0035. We can drop these zeros. If we tilt the number to the left, those zeros will roll off. And we don't need to write the decimal point if we have no fractional part for this number. So 35 micrograms. And maybe we could do one last one here. 50 milligrams into grams. So milligrams into grams. 
well, I don't even need to count anymore. I know it's a thousand times smaller. So grams is a thousand times bigger, but I'm going left now. So I could look at this 50 milligram, place the point there, and I have to go three decimal places to the left. One, two, three, or doing the dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000. So now what do we have? We need to fill the gap here with the naught. So answer would be 0 0.050. Remember the need to have a digit for the whole part of your number. And remember that tilting this number to the right, that zero will roll off. So final answer 0 0.05 grams.